We're here at the dealership for a special delivery. I'm excited. And the funny thing is, Zay doesn't even know what this thing is that he's gonna be seeing. No idea what this thing is, but I'm excited for it. Here it is. Oh my God. Do you even know what this is? Yeah, a scat pack. I can't believe he just called it a scat pack. It's definitely not. <laughs> oh my God. So here it is. Demon 170 in this beautiful destroyer gray. This is the first time seeing this in person. How do you feel about it? Why is it wide bodied in the back and then not in the front? Yeah, yeah, that's that. that, that's kind of the design. So that's it's a wide body in the back and then it's a skinny body in the front. So look at the logo. Demon 170 and then the eye right there is orange. Same spoiler as the red eyes and then everything else is about the same, you know, except, you know, what's under the hood is not the same. If you guys know a thing or two about the Demon 170s, it's a lot different than the normal demons that they've came out with. I made a whole video on all the specs and features that are on the 170 Demon that weren't on the previous Demon. I'm gonna put that link in the description. Be sure to watch it if you are confused on what this thing is. Only the Hellcat don't got this. I bet Omni Hellcat don't got this in his driveway. <laughs> He's just rolling, guys. You got 11 miles on this thing. Look at that. And that's how the seats are. They're claw seats. I don't know how I feel about that. Also get the red seat belt. I'm not going to pop the hood just yet. We are going to go to a different location because as you can see, we're causing a lot of traffic here. Hey, would you trust me with this? Honestly, I wouldn't even trust you with that minivan. That minivan, it's in the shop right now. I'm putting the same engine on this car on the minivan. So stay tuned. There's going to be a minivan demon. miles he can't really get on it now let's talk about this thing so this is a 2023 challenger demon 170 they only made about 3,000 of these and this is one of them in destroyer gray and to most people it looks like a normal challenger but under the hood is where all the magic happens so this is a 6.2 liter supercharged v8 producing a thousand and twenty five horsepower and 950 pound feet of torque this blower is a 3.0 the previous generation demon was a 2.7 so they upgraded to a 3.0 along with the rest of the motor like this is way Way more built than the previous generation which is why it handles so much more power it also has the yellow block that's how you know if it's a 170 and then you got the challenger last call plaque right here i don't know what the fuck any of that shit means to be honest well you're pretty much clueless about 99.9% .9 of the time i can rap though go ahead bro give us a freestyle man come on come on hey i woke up today pray to god and i'm <laughs> in a demon Bro, bro, bro. I'm on, my, I'm on my way to the girl's house. I'm about to have her creaming. Hey, hey, come on now. Come on now. That was fine. That was fine. That was trash. Don't lie. That was, that was, that was trash. trash. That was trash. No, no. You don't f with it. But let's, let's get back to the demon, bro. All right, let's get back to the demon. If you also notice, the front is a skinny body and the back is a wide body. And the reason for that is because they wanted to put skinnies up here. And while well, they would have looked really awkward with a wide body, so they made it a skinny body here and they made it a wide body over there. So these these are 245 wide tires on 18 inch wheels and then here are the 315 Mickey Thompson Street R's and the wheels are 17 inches so you got a whole drag set on this thing. Dude can you stop speaking gibberish? I don't know what any of that shit means bro I'm cold let's go home. While I'm doing all of this why don't you take your phone out For what? and hop on Google and search everything that I just said so you won't be confused. You said like hundred different million things bro I'm not doing all that bro let's go home dog. So as far as the exterior, it's pretty basic. There isn't much to it. Like I said, this is a full on drag car. Like most of the magic that this thing has is under the hood and you really won't be able to see how cool this thing is unless it's on the drag strip. Dude, I just looked this car up. This car is worth $500,000. Are you serious? $500,000? Dude, like who spends $500,000 on a car just for it to get stolen the next week? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> you do have a point. They do steal these cars a lot, which is very questionable why people steal buy these cars but again i have a track hawk and they're just so cool that you don't care if they get stolen you kind of just got to be strapped up and ready to go if something happens i don't know about that i'd probably go and buy that euros that you pranked me with have you gotten over that no i haven't i'm gonna get you back though i hope you know that hey listen the get back it's always worse damn should I be afraid? I think you should. We're in here now and you got the full Alcantara steering wheel you got 220 on the dash so now let's turn it on 
it is way more rowdy than a regular Hellcat or a regular Demon. You could just tell right from the start. Check this light up here. It says E8 and then it has the gas logo and it has corn on the gas logo right here because it's on E85. You still get the 8-speed transmission. You got all the carbon fiber here and you get the SRT button here, the launch button, trans brake and the traction button. Then you get the drive modes right here and for power it's at 900 which means it's on E85. Then you got the transmission which is on street. We'll go to drag options. You got the line lock, trans brake, launch control, chiller, shift light, race cool down. The chiller is cool. It cools down your blower. Then you got the race mode which basically turns the fans on while your car is off. So that's all cool. You get the trans brake which is something new in this car. Then you get the shift torque right here. You can set all that up from the screen. And these are all cool features that the previous Demon did not have. And here's what happens when I put it in drag mode. So power unlocked to 900. You got the drag transmission, drag traction, and drag suspension. The fans and the chiller automatically kick on to make sure that the car is cooled at all times. Now the only thing I'm confused about is why it says 900 for power when this thing makes 1,000 horsepower. They could mean that it makes 900 to the wheels and 1,025 is how much it makes to the crank. I'm not really sure, but the car is on 85, which means it should unlock the full potential of this car. Or maybe the fact that it only has 16 miles, it has been broken in so maybe you can't unlock the full thousand horsepower now let's check the performance pages so you got home you got timers you got gauges you got g-forces you got engine so that pretty much shows you everything and then you got dyno and then with revenant you can see that goes up you know, when you are doing an actual pull, it could tell you exactly how much power you're making. And as far as the seats, you got the Demon logo with the 170 right here, but they're cloth seats. They're super boring, basic seats. I'm not sure why they came with these seats. I don't know if it's for waist saving, but I'm sure there's a good reason why they did that. Probably it's because waist saving. And again, this is a drag car, so you're not gonna have any luxury things in it. It's meant to go down the quarter mile, and that's all. It's supposed to run like a 9-1, I believe, at like 150 miles per hour. Again, I'm gonna leave a video in the description that I went into total detail about everything on this car. So here's the thing, right? Cool car, whatever. But if I'm paying this much for a car, why the f does the interior look like this? Like, tell me that doesn't look like a base model GT. Like, come on, like, like, like let's be real. Like you're paying $500,000 for a car. They, they didn't pay $500,000 for this car, bro. Yes, they did. No, no, he didn't. He didn't pay five. This car is like 115, I don't know, 120. Okay, 115, still a lot of money. Why does the interior look like that? You do got a good point. Now let's talk about the window sticker. So it's a 2023 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon 170. The base price is $68,000. Here's all the standard options. And then the wide body is $14,000. Thousand and nine hundred oh, six hundred dollars, and then you get another big option right here, which is the SRT Demon 170, which is twenty thousand dollars. They also charge you for the cloth interior two thousand dollars. I can't believe they're charging that much for cloth interior. And then here's everything you get with that Demon package, and then the eight speed transmission is three grand. You get the red seat belts, that's three hundred, and then the total price of a hundred and fourteen thousand dollars, and that's MSRP. And while most people are aren't paying MSRP for these. Most dealerships have a huge markup. The latest markup I seen was $250,000 because they are rare, they are limited. I believe, like I said, 3,000 units and that makes a thousand horsepower. So some dealerships think that they could charge a quarter of a million dollars over MSRP for these things. Oh, you're fanboying now. Wait, wait, you were just talking shit about it. Why do you got your phone out? God, it looks so good. The wide body on the back and the skinny body on the front is a bit odd, but I definitely think it'll grow on you. In person, it does look a lot better. It's all right. As you've seen, he had his phone out and he was fanboying and now he's saying it's all right. I don't know what you're talking about. I was texting my mom. I was not- You guys hear that? I like this car more though. Why? It matches my shoes. And by the way, guys, this car is still for sale. <laughs> It looks so good. And I'm not even asking an arm and a leg for this thing, man. If you're serious, hit my DMs on Instagram at It's MotorTube and come buy this thing. Oh.